Alright, so let's talk about Interac. So I'm going to be reviewing a pros and cons list that I made for Interac. Um, it really helped me make my decision. So I'm going to start off with the pay. Interac pays from 230,000 yen to 250,000. And the reason why it varies is because depending on where you're placed, you may need to drive. And in the areas where you do have to drive, the pay is higher. So, uh, to start off, I'm going to go ahead and give all the pros. Uh, the first one that I have here, uh, which is important to me, is that you get to work at public schools. So, you get to see what, you know, real day-to-day -day life is like for Japanese students. Um, and you get to see, you know, how school life differs from where you're from. Which, to me, is interesting. Um, and, you know, it's something that is exciting for me. So, uh, I just want to preface that all these pros and cons are, of course, pros and cons that are important to me. Um, so, they may not be important to you, um, but uh, just keep that in mind. So, um, the next is the work schedule, in my opinion, is the best out of all the jobs that I apply to. So, the work schedule for Interact is 8 to 5 p.m. and you get um, you get free weekends, so you're off on the weekends, and uh, you'll be teaching up to 29.5 hours. You will be working uh, or available to work uh, 40 hours a week, so you will be at uh, your school for 40 hours, uh, but you will only be working a maximum of 25 hours. Um, I'm sorry, 29.5 hours a week. Now. Um, I do want to read something off out, out of the offer that I got uh, in regards to holidays. So the time off um, for Interact is the highest out of all of the uh, jobs that I apply to uh, because you do mimic the, the work schedule that, um, I'm sorry, the school schedule that the students have. So let me read this to you because I quite don't understand what it says. But um, afterwards, I'll give you an idea of what I think the holiday schedule is. So according to uh, the offer of employment, it says, Instructors who work a complete, cal a complete school calendar year, April or May 2011 through March 2012, will be entitled to two holiday periods of approximately four weeks and two weeks duration to be taken in conjunction with the Japanese summer and winter school holidays, respectively. So I'm not really too sure what that means, um, but from what I've gathered is that you get a break in the summer and then you also get a break um, in the winter. The summer break is the longest and I hear that it can be up to six weeks. Um, and then the winter, from what I hear, from what I hear it could be around four weeks. Um, so what I think is that you get two four-week breaks and then you also get um, some kind of vacation time off, um, but I may be wrong about that. So if anybody knows, if you guys could please leave a comment. Um, uh, although I do know that you do get five personal days after working three months consecutively. So you won't get that until you've worked three months without missing a day. Um, so all of that to me is a pro. Um, so 8 to 5 p.m., no weekends, and then uh, you're only working a maximum of 29.5 teaching hours. Um, and then you do get all, those, all that time off, summer, winter, um, oh, national holidays as well. And then you get five personal days after working consecutively. Uh, for three months. So show them that you are a professional worker and that you can make it to work every single day for at least three months and then you'll get those five uh, personal days off um, but continue to do so afterwards. So um, another pro that I have is that you get to work on, you know, you can work on the side. So the work on the side is allowed. So you can do private lessons uh, at your house or at a Starbucks or a coffee house or whatever. Um, so that's another plus because to me, um, money is important and uh, Interact actually is the lowest paying job that I apply to. So having the ability to work on the side is an extreme plus for me. Um, so now let me go over the cons. 
So, no free flights. So, um, a lot of people want to know if the flight to Japan is free, if the flight back is free, and it's not. So you don't get any kind of free flights um, with Interac. Also, you don't get any bonuses. So, no matter how long you work there, um, no matter how well you do, you don't get any bonus. Um, so, you know, that's very important to know. And uh, the third con for me is that more than likely you're going to have to drive. So, I don't want to drive in Japan. If I have to, I will. Um, it's not that I don't know how to drive. It's just that I prefer not to have to drive in Japan. Um, I don't know how I feel about working or driving on the other side of the road. And the whole narrow roads and all that kind of stuff is kind of, I don't know, scary. So, um... The la another con that I have is, like I said before, uh, Interact is the lowest paying job uh, out of all the companies that I apply to. So, keep that in mind. The schedule was great, but it pays the least. And because of that, uh, another con that I wrote down is that it's harder to save money. So the reason why money is so important to me is because I have a mortgage that I need to continue paying while I'm in Japan. Uh, the good thing is that Interac still pays, you know, a decent uh, amount to where, you know, if you don't have a mortgage and you don't have any other kind of bills, you can live com comfortably in Japan, pay all your bills, and still have money to save because um, the money that I have left over to save is going to go towards my mortgage here in the United States. Uh, so the one negative is that I won't be able to save any money unless I do a lot of, you know, teaching on the side, which hopefully I'll get the opportunity to do. So that's it. I hope this helped you. Um, again, Interact is the lowest paying um, out of the jobs that I apply, apply to, and I'll list all the jobs that I, or the companies that I apply to. Um, but for me, the schedule um, is what won me over, and... Uh, Oh, one more thing, uh, which I also have as a pro. Sorry, I kind of wrote it in the corner. Um, if you do start in the fall, your contract is seven months versus one year. So, you know, that's uh, a really good thing. So if you do want to start um, in the fall and you're kind of scared about staying in Japan for a whole year, you can stay in Japan for seven months um, and, you know, kind of test it out. And if you like the job, then of course you can you know, renew your contract if you are a good employee. So, yeah, that's all that I have for Interact. I urge you to make your own pros and cons list for all the companies that you're going to apply to or that you have applied to uh, to better make a decision. Thanks. Oh, so I forgot to mention one huge con for Interact. Um, Interact does not pay for your deposit, security deposit, or your uh, key money. So on top of having to bring, they require uh, about fifty or five hundred fifty thousand yen to bring to Japan once you move there, um, so that you can survive for the first two months, as well as pay for your security deposit and um, your key money. So depending on uh, your apartment, you may have to pay two months worth of a security deposit or three months worth of security deposit, and then uh, key money if uh, the landlord requires that. So, getting a job within track requires you to have about, I don't know, I would say to be safe, $7,000 at least before you move to Japan to make sure that you can live for the first two months and also pay your security deposit, which you should get back unless you trash the place. All right.